All right, so today I have a special video for you. As a matter of fact, it took me four and a half months to make this video. And what I want to show you is I want to show you these chickens starting from an egg growing up every single day, kind of all the stuff I went through with these chickens to get them out here in the barnyard. And today, well, the last couple days, this rooster's been crowing. I've been trying to capture it on film. I haven't quite caught it yet. As soon as I catch that rooster crowing on camera, I'm gonna end the video. So this is gonna be the start of the video. And it's uh, it's like a two hour long video. <laughs> it's like it's like 30 seconds to about a minute every day uh, watching these chickens grow up. And at the same time, about halfway through, uh, I actually raised up some of these ducks. These ducks are, some of these ducks are also just little babies. These are Cayuga ducks. So you see the chickens every single day, and then you'll see the ducks and the rest of the flock kind of thrown in here. I have some, uh, some peeking ducks, <laughs> these ducks. I can watch these ducks all day long playing in the water. But I'm jump, gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start out with the incubator and just give you one little short video of the chickens every single day and what I went through to get the chickens from the incubator to integrate it into the flock out here. All right, so take a look at this. These are my black Australorbs just hatching. This is hatch day. I guess this is day zero. Just hatching out of the egg. So cute. All right, so here's day one. We ended up with 13 little baby chickens. <laughs> they are so cute. I actually found this old stock tank. This is like uh, for, for water for horses in the barn. I was using it for my calves, for my cows. And got a pretty good setup. Got a little heat lamp up above it. The temperature right under the bottom there is 100 degrees perfectly. And I'm here in my reptile room, so it's a perfect 80 degrees all the way around and it looks like they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of just waking up from the incubator i just moved them over so cute all right so this is day number two still have all 13 black australorp chicks here i'm actually putting oxy tetracycline in the water changing out the water twice a day i found that really helps especially in the first week i've actually raised chicks before and it seems like a lot of times in the first week you can actually lose some if you don't put some kind of antibiotic in the water for the first week but they're all doing great and they're all really super friendly take a look at how friendly these guys are super cute little birds it's probably the cutest phase for these guys All right, day number three, and you're not gonna believe it, I actually left some of the old eggs that didn't hatch in the incubator and I had one hatch out. Look at this one, just hatched today, three days later, which is pretty amazing. Usually you know, the, the eggs won't hatch after a few days after they're in the incubator, and that one just randomly popped on another chick. So now we have 14 baby chicks, which is pretty awesome. All right, so day number four, these little chicks are growing really super fast and they're starting to eat quite a bit of food. In about half a day, they'll plow halfway through that little container. It's pretty amazing how fast they're growing. And I'm thinking here pretty soon, they might be able to jump out of this. I'm thinking maybe about a week and I'll have to upgrade to a bigger enclosure so they don't jump out and they start running around the house. They are super cute. All right, day number five. These guys are growing super fast. I've been changing the water and the food twice a day. I've been topping off the bedding once a day. And that one little baby one is still pretty small. Sometimes this little baby one kind of gets trampled in the back. And look at how much smaller this one is compared to the other ones. But so far, they're not picking on it. It's doing really good. All right, day number six. These guys are getting frisky. All right, day number seven. These guys are growing incredibly quick. They're still really super cute.
All right, so day number eight, I actually had to install some of this wire shelving up on top because I thought for sure these guys were gonna jump out. I definitely have to upgrade these guys to a bigger enclosure here pretty soon. Day number nine. <laughs> I'll give you a slightly different perspective. They're pretty curious about this camera here. <laughs> Alright, so day number 10, I actually moved them out here in my garage in a big six foot round stock tank. Plenty of room to get a little bit bigger. In that last little enclosure, I had them in the basement in my reptile room. Let me tell you, they were like, <laughs> they could definitely jump out of that. So they have a little bit more room to grow in here before they can get up to the top. I don't think they can jump all the way to the top of this one. All right, so day 11, I slightly modified the setup. I actually put some cardboard to kind of restrict their movements so they wouldn't get too far from the heat lamp. And then I added a second heat lamp because I know with baby chicks, they can kind of wander away from the heat and it's getting a little bit cool out here at night, but these guys are doing fantastic. All right, day number 12. These guys are getting really friendly and really curious. <laughs> Take a look at this. How cute that is. Day number 13, these guys are plowing through some food. <laughs> So day number 14, and I don't know if it's just me or not, but it looks like just in the last one day, in the last 24 hours, it seems like they've gone through a growth spurt and they're getting a lot bigger and they're getting a lot more spry, that's for sure. They're starting to jump up a little bit. I'm hoping they won't actually jump out of here. At some point, I'm going to have to cover this enclosure with some kind of netting or something to keep them in here. All right, day 15, I've been really taming these guys down. Take a look at this. <laughs> I've been picking them up and kind of playing with them. It seems like this one is the tamest. This one runs over and jumps right in my hand every time I put my hand in there. He come and comes and jumps over. And then since this one's over here, it seems like all the other ones will come and kind of jump into my hand. Of course, now I just fed them and gave them water. So they're kind of more interested in the food, but it's pretty amazing how tame they're getting super tame look at that crazy bird just kind of relaxes right in my hand it's always good to tame them when they're young it's easier to handle them when they get bigger all right day number 16.
All right, so for day number 17, I had to break out the bird netting. I <laughs> put bird netting on top to keep these crazy birds in here. So I actually came out today and there was a bird standing on top of the feeder. I thought for sure it was actually gonna come out and start running around the garage. So I put this plastic bird netting up on top of here and these guys are growing super fast. And before you know it, they'll be ready to go outside, which is pretty crazy. All right, day 18 on these black Australorps. And if you're wondering how much they've eaten, they've eaten just a little over half of a 50 pound bag. So I'd say they've eaten maybe 30 pounds of this. I'm actually feeding them a medicated chick food designed for baby chickens, which is pretty amazing that they've eaten that much. And let me tell you, the more they grow, the faster they plow that food down. It is pretty amazing. All right, so day 19. So the funny thing is about these birds is I actually have this plastic bird netting up on top here. And every night I actually take the netting off and add a little bit of extra pine just to give it a little bit of fresh uh, bedding as far as the topping on the pine. And today I almost was certain that one of them was gonna fly out. These guys can definitely fly out of this. I'll have to figure out some way to actually add some bedding without taking off this netting because I definitely don't want to lose any of these birds. All right, so day 20, almost three weeks old. All right, day 21. These guys are exactly three weeks old. All right, this is day 22, and if you're wondering, yes, I do actually have all 14 chicks from the very beginning. I haven't lost a single one. They're all doing fantastic. All right, day 23.
right, day 24. Alright, day 25. Look at how big these guys are getting. They're really starting to fill out. And this enclosure seems like it's getting smaller and smaller by the day the bigger these guys get. No real fighting yet between them. And I'm thinking I'm going to keep them in here as long as I can until they fill out a little bit more. Until maybe they start fighting a little bit, then I'll move them out in the barnyard. But they were, they're pretty safe and secure in here and they have plenty of heat. And they can kind of stay out of the weather in here, which is really good. Day 26, these guys are really starting to plow through some food now. I actually have just a little bit left in that 50 pound bag. I'd say maybe tomorrow or the next day they'll completely finish their first 50 pound bag of chick feed. So day 27, I actually started my second 50 pound bag of medicated chick feed. I'm actually still doing uh, medicated water. You can see there's a little bit of yellow in the water over there. I'm actually using water soluble oxy tetracycline. That works really well for keeping chicks alive. I actually raised probably thousands and thousands of chickens before. And it seems like if you don't use some kind of antibiotic in the water, you definitely have some losses. And with antibiotics, you basically have zero losses. It's pretty amazing. All right, so day 28. Now check this out. I actually just added this really big feeder. I put it in here like about two minutes ago and these chickens are terrified of that feeder. They're not exactly sure what it is, which is kind of crazy. All right, so day 29. The funny thing is today I actually came out about halfway through the day and none of them had eaten any food out of this feeder. They were absolutely terrified of this feeder. So what I actually did is I took the old feeder, the smaller one, and put it right next to this one for just a few hours. 
until they started eating a little bit in both feeders. Now they're kind of transitioned over to this feeder, which I was surprised they were so scared of this thing. It's kind of crazy. All right, day 30. These guys are almost ready to go outside. They're getting a little bit bigger. As a matter of fact, they're starting to develop a pecking order and starting to face off a little bit. A little bit of sparring here and there. Not too bad, but I'm thinking they need definitely need some more room here pretty soon. All right, day 31. You can almost see these chickens. I put them out here in the barnyard. They're actually in the chicken coop out here, and I kind of fenced them in with this dog panel. Give them a little food, a little water. They're out here with the rest of the birds, which is pretty awesome. Finally graduated to the barnyard. All right, so day 32. I actually put up a piece of cardboard here with a little hole cut out of it. And that's to keep the crows from jumping in here. The crows are actually getting in here and kind of terrorizing these chickens. As a matter of fact, I think the crows were eating a lot of eggs in here. So it seems like since I put up that little piece of cardboard, I've been getting more eggs from my other ducks and chickens. But we're still at 14, doing great. And you can see them here in the dark. All right, day 33. I can definitely tell these guys want to go out with the rest of the birds out there. I don't think they're big enough to be out there on their own. I think they have to get a little bit bigger before they go out there with the other big old, big old mean birds. <laughs> All right, day 34, and I still have one that's very friendly. Take a look at this. <laughs> All right, look at this one. Super friendly on day 34. I don't know why this one is just really super friendly compared to the rest of them, which is kind of wild. Look at that. <laughs> That's one crazy bird right there. <laughs> All right, day 35. Look at how big these guys are getting. Pretty big. Looking really good. Still in this little contraption I made here. I'm not brave enough to let them out with everyone else yet. A little bit longer. All right, day 36. These guys are ready to get out. <laughs> Look at them all up against the wire there. Just dying to get out. But uh, the problem is, is if they get out with my cows, my cows will definitely eat these guys. You definitely don't want little baby chickens next to your cows. So just for security, I want their body size to be a little bit bigger so they're a little bit more secure. And it helps for all the other birds to get used to them too, but they're doing really good.
All right, so I have to say that this little guard to keep the crows out has been working fantastic. Usually I have like six or seven crows just kind of swarm in this place, getting the eggs in here from my other chickens. And now the crows are like out in the cow manure, kind of picking through looking for grubs. It's funny. This works really well, surprisingly well. So this is day 37. Take a look at these guys. All right, day 38. These guys are growing really super fast. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I open the front and they all want to get out. Take a look at these guys. <laughs> All right, day 39. I finally let these guys out to run with all the other birds. Take a look at how big they're getting. Pretty good. 39 days old. Definitely have some roosters in there. You can see they have, I think the roosters have a little bit longer tails maybe. Have the bigger combs on the top. Doing pretty good running around. There's a whole bunch of them. I counted them yesterday and when I let them go and there's, they, this morning as a matter of fact, they, <laughs> There's definitely still 14 of them, so they're doing fantastic. Exploring the area. All right, day 40. These guys are running all over the place, in the coop, out of the coop. Mixing really well with the flock. No fighting at all, which is really nice. Still looking pretty shaggy, trying to get their, their final feathers in, but they're definitely filling out quite a bit. Alright, day 41. I actually have a, kind of a dead end in the fence here. <laughs> they kind of get bunched up here. They can't get out. And I usually open up the back so they can get over to the other side. But right now, it's not really baby chicken proof. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're really starting to fill out and get pretty big. All right, day 42. These guys seem to like perching on these pallets over here, which is pretty funny. All right, day 43. These guys are running all over the place, doing really good. <laughs> all right, day 44. These guys are running all over the place. <laughs> All right, day 45. All right, day 46, these guys are starting to get a lot of the, kind of the blackish green color. This guy wants to take a bite from my hand here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at these guys. All right, day forty seven. So day 48, I actually opened up the other side of this coop over here so they have more room to run around. Tried to put a bunch of dirt underneath this fence so they can't dig their way out. Doing pretty good. All right, day 49, I'm gonna show you around the chicken coop. Show you how much room these guys have. Quite a bit of room with all these other ducks and chickens running around. Look at these guys. These are 49 days old. Wow. Take a look at these guys. Let's see if I can move them. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> See if I can move some of them this way. Ah, we got a few. We got a few. <laughs> They're split off from the rest of the flock. They're not very happy. <laughs> they have all this over here. Here they come. Then they have all this. I need to put something over here so they'll actually come over here. But yeah, quite a bit of room for these little guys. Alright, day 50 on these guys, and I'm starting to think I can definitely tell the, the roosters from the hens. The hens don't really have any combs on top of their heads, and then the roosters, like this guy right here, definitely has a really big comb on top of his head. I think that one's a rooster. Day 51 on a rainy day. Day 52. <laughs> They're running with a, I got a few older chickens. Day 53. Can't believe it's been 53 days on these guys. Mm -hmm. 
All right, day 54. All right, day 55. Look at all these birds. We're getting a lot, a lot of birds in this barnyard, which is kind of crazy. I was actually going to do a video every single day on these guys until the roosters looked fully mature. And they are really slow to mature. It's pretty amazing. I think I might have to go another two months before these guys are full size, which is pretty crazy. All right, day 56. All right, day 57. These guys love to sit back here in the shade. <laughs> this is like the back of the loafing shed where the cows usually hang out. <laughs> Look at them go. These guys are quick. Pretty quick. <laughs> All right, day 58. All right, day 59, and they're fighting over a watermelon rind. <laughs> All right, day 60, two months old on these birds. Got an older hen there. You can see the difference in size, still not full grown. All right, day 61. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, day 62, and of course the old hens are hanging out with all the new birds. Look at all these birds. <laughs> We're getting a lot of birds that like to hang out here in the shade. <laughs> look at you guys. Just look at you guys, huh? Oh my goodness. Look at these guys. Look, I can still pick them up. They still kind of remember. I haven't picked them up in a long time. <laughs> wow, look at that. Friendly bird. Day 63. Look at that crazy bird. <laughs> oh, these birds. I think this is the friendliest one from when they were chicks. The one that would come running. Getting some good feathers. All right, day 64. Look at all these birds out here. <laughs> I sprinkled the little lettuce out here to kind of coax them to, to come out. These guys are crazy, running all over the place. <laughs> Got plenty of room to run around. <laughs> Looks like this guy might be a rooster. <sighs> Haven't started crowing yet. <laughs> All right, day 65. These guys are getting pretty big. I kind of wanted to show you what else was going on here in the barnyard. So we have these chickens getting pretty big. Pretty big for 65 days, although they're not as big as you can see. Got a hen right here. <laughs> There's definitely a pecking order. I kind of wanted to show you what else is going on in the barnyard. I have some baby ducks that I'm raising up too. So I'll give you a tour of the, of the barnyard. They have all the space that I opened up. They can get pretty much back and forth. See, it's weird. The chickens like to stay over there. And the ducks like to stay over here on this side by the water. This is where all the water is. And look at these new baby ducks. I had them penned up in my chicken coop. Um, this is the first time they're out in the water. I got them penned away from the other ducks because the other ducks are kind of aggressive towards them. But take a look at these little guys. Baby ducks, baby chickens. All right, day 66. These guys are just hanging out on a warm day. You can definitely see they're, they're kind of getting like a green sheen to their feathers. Pretty awesome. You can definitely tell the roosters. Bigger combs on the head. Hopefully we'll get more hens than roosters. All right, day 67. Look at these lazy birds. <laughs> it's kind of hanging out here in the shade on a hot day. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how the rooster does to being handled. Ah, <laughs> ah he doesn't like it, huh? Ah, not so much. You know, roosters, once they get a little bit bigger, they get pretty, they really change their, 
their attitude once they get a little bit bigger. Get a little bit less snuggly, I would say. <laughs> He's doing pretty good for being a being able to pick them up and hold them. Look at those big old feet. Alright, day 68 on these little chickens. They're kind of spread all over. Let's see if we got some back here. <laughs> They're getting pretty big, actually. All right, day 69. Uh, if you actually compare to an old hen right here, <laughs> they're about half the size after 69 days. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Not growing very fast. I have a I have a bag of eggs. I've been getting some eggs for my ducks and chickens. That the few chickens that I have. Pretty good. All right, day 70. So take a look at this. I actually have some lettuce and chopped up uh, zucchini. My other bag, I actually have some uh, some watermelon rinds and some table scraps. <laughs> take a look at this. This is our daily routine here. <laughs> Look at all those birds. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of birds. And somewhere in all those birds <laughs> are the chickens. And then they follow me all over. And I usually come in here and then sprinkle them all over <laughs> the other side. Oh, that's kind of the hard part. I don't know if I could do it with the camera and the birds under feet. But there you go. <laughs> you know, by the way, I also have some black Angus beef cattle. <laughs> Just four right now. These guys are huge. Day 71, it is a windy day, quite a bit cooler. So if you guys are watching this, I can't believe you're still watching. <laughs> I've been at this for like two and a half months, taking videos every single day. Uh, by the time these guys are adults, we'll be like in the middle of the snow. <laughs> oh my goodness. As a matter of fact, there's some places up in the mountains here that it snowed already. Great. All right, day 72. And all the chickens are over here on the duck side, which is pretty funny. All right, day 73. Look at all these birds. <laughs> they really start filling up the side of the pen. I actually sprinkled some more lettuce over here. And the bigger they get, it seems like the smaller this little enclosure gets. It's pretty amazing. Got a whole bunch of chickens. Getting pretty big. <laughs> Doing great.
All right, day 74. I'm still able to pick these guys up. <laughs> Look at those big old feet on these chickens. So funny. Looking pretty good. Look at how friendly they are. Hanging out in the shade, another warm summer day. All right, day 75. <laughs> These chickens, look at all of them. We got a ton of chickens in here. This is our new favorite spot. All right, day 76, I had to pull one out in the sun so you can actually see it kind of has an interesting, kind of a blackish green hue to the feathers. These guys are so lazy and so friendly. I was trying to chase them out from behind the, behind the little place where they hang out all day. <laughs> they would not move, so I had to pick one up. Looking really good. I think this might be a rooster. Still can't tell. For sure, 100%. Well, no, once they start crowing, I'm pretty sure it's a rooster. All right, day 77. Another warm day. Middle of August. Doing pretty good. Running around eating the lettuce. <laughs> Some of them are smaller than the other ones. Some of them are pretty small. This one's pretty big. It's amazing the difference. I think they're both hens too. Seems like the roosters always get a little bit bigger faster. Day 79. It's early morning, early August morning. Nice and cool. Getting to the point where I can't tell the old chickens from the new chickens. Getting pretty big. That's an old hen there going through a molt. These guys are almost the same size. But the roosters don't really look like roosters and they're not crowing yet.
All right, day 81. Out here with the ducks. Look at all these birds. <laughs> all these birds. Wow. Picking out a watermelon rind. <laughs> All right, day 83. <laughs> Can you tell which ones are the chickens? All right, so we got some lettuce, some watermelon. <laughs> crazy birds, crazy birds. All right. Let's see, the chickens are over here. Seems like the chickens like the watermelon more than the, more than the lettuce. All the ducks eat the lettuce. Lots of birds. It's funny, even when I feed them, the ducks stay on this side. The chickens are all on this side. Crazy. <laughs> crazy ducks, crazy chickens. <laughs> All right, day eighty four. All right, day 85. There's some lazy chickens. Just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Apparently they like to roost up here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's like the roosters. I'm starting to look like roosters. I don't know how much longer we have. A couple months. <laughs> oh, I came back, woke them all up. All right, day eighty six. Day 87. These guys are all piled on top of each other. I don't know what they're doing back here. It's pretty funny. I guess they're bonding. I think 
looks like we might have four roosters, maybe. All we need is one. All right, day 88. These guys are getting pretty big. So here's an old hen right here, almost, almost the same size of the old hens now. Pretty amazing. Day 89. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is day 90. Wow, day 90. I can't believe I'm going after 90 days. If you're still watching, leave a comment below. <laughs> I can't believe 90 days. Look at all those birds. Wow. Look at all those birds. <laughs> Look at them all. They're wanting their lettuce. All right. <laughs> Follow me around like a bunch of crazy birds. All right. Here we go. We got some watermelon and chopped lettuce. <laughs> oh, these guys are going crazy. Watermelon's really good this time of year. It is early September. This video will probably finish it by Christmas, maybe. I'm waiting for those roosters to crow. <laughs> now look, all the ducks are over here, and all the chickens are over here. It's like they steal a piece of watermelon, come running over. <laughs> all right, 90 days. It's so funny, they keep themselves a little bit separated from the rest of the flock. All right, day 91. All right, day 92. Can't believe it's been 92 days on these guys. All right, day 93. Take a look at this. I just got some more hay for the cows. 
Luckily they eat cheap hay. <laughs> Cow hay. I'm gonna give you a tour of the how you get into this place. Alright. I was turning on the water early to give them some fresh water early in the morning. Look at all these guys. Alright, so today. <laughs> they attack that one, Alright, let's see what else we have here. Right. See, I'm getting some watermelon. <laughs> lots of lettuce, lots of watermelon. I also do cut grass. So, can you tell which ones are the chickens? Oh, look, they're almost, almost full size. But they all kind of separate over here. It's so weird. They kind of separate from the rest of the... Roosters still aren't crowing yet. I assume that's a rooster. Once I get a good crow, I'll call it good. I'm thinking I have at least another month or so. <laughs> Look at these guys. It's so funny. All right, day 94. I think I have some fans. <laughs> Look at these guys. All running around, waiting for the last little bit of the lettuce. I actually lure them over here. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I ran out of watermelon, so today actually I'm using some old chopped up grapes. Oh, we got a... Another kind of a duck. Yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Let's see if I can give you a better shot of these guys. And there they go. That's so funny. All right, day 95. In here with all these other crazy birds. <laughs> oh, look at how many birds I have. Let's see over here. Blending in today, here's another one. Uh, wait a minute. I think that's one of the new ones. <laughs> They're getting so big. I can't tell the new ones from the old ones. These are all, all the new chickens. Alright, day 96. Check this out. Watch this. <laughs> See if I can walk backwards. <laughs> Look at these guys. It's always hard to walk through here with chickens at my feet. Chickens at my feet. <laughs> I have a herd following me. Of course, they're all here for one thing, for the lettuce. <laughs> I can't even hardly walk with these guys <laughs> around my feet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what I go through every morning. I'm trying to get over here. All right. <laughs> Crazy chickens. <laughs> Day 97. I'm gonna see if I can pick one of these guys up. Look at that. <laughs> I can still pick him up. He's getting really heavy. He must, he must weigh like two or three pounds already. 
maybe more than three pounds. Look at those big old feet. <laughs> crazy, crazy chicken. I don't think I've ever had chickens that were this tame. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't even struggle at all. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. All right, day 98, check it out. We're still getting, we have two chicken eggs and two duck eggs. <laughs> For a while I was getting like uh, about 14 eggs a day during like the peak of the, the season. So getting just a few eggs now. Seems like the chickens, my older chickens are laying more than my ducks. These guys are doing pretty good. <laughs> I blocked them off so they couldn't go back there. But yeah, it looks like you could definitely tell the roosters from the hens now. So I think that one's a rooster. There's no crowing yet. All right, day 99. All right, day 100. I'm gonna leave these guys over by the rest of the birds. <laughs> All right, give them some competition here. For day 100, they get a little competition over by the water. Right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Can you tell which one's which? Woo! Look at all those birds. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Still have, I think this is a rooster over here. I saw one little chick that was smaller than the other ones. I think it was that one that hatched out late. Look at this one over here. Look at how small this one is compared to the other ones. Super small. <laughs> Thought that was pretty funny. Wow. Most of the food I give these chickens and ducks is actually dry in that feeder, in the chicken coop. But every day I actually take some some scratch greens. It's a mixture of scratch greens and and like a, an all flock pellet, kind of a custard pellet, and I put it in water. And all the ducks come over here. The ducks love it. But every now and then you get one of the older chickens coming over. But the new chickens actually don't really like this, which is kind of interesting. There's one of the new ones. I remember checking it out. Not like the ducks, though. <laughs> All right, so day 101. I can't believe it's been 101 days and still no crowing. So I'll stop the video, stop this whole series of videos as soon as one of my roosters crow or if one of these hens lays a little egg, which I don't know. I think the rooster's gonna crow before the hens will lay the eggs. So slow to mature, pretty amazing. Really pretty green in their feathers. Mm -hmm. 
my Pekin ducks. They're <laughs> like full size, fully mature at 45 days. <laughs> Completely blow away my chickens, which is pretty wild. But I don't have too many roosters. This is a lot of hens, it looks like. Maybe this is a rooster right here, which is pretty awesome. You get too many roosters and they fight and you have to get rid of them. All right, day 102. <laughs> So tonight is actually the first, gonna be the first hard frost. Getting a little bit colder. Before we know it, it'll be snowing. <laughs> These roosters are still not growing. You can definitely tell that one's a rooster. I think that one's a rooster too. A rooster. These roosters are not crowing yet. <laughs> Look at them run away the little piece of watermelon. <laughs> they run, they grab it and they run with it. It's so funny. And then they fight over it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, day 104. And I just got a, I just got a big watermelon that was really mushy. <laughs> Overripe watermelon, so they get all the watermelon. Take a look at these guys. Still waiting on those roosters to crow. Quite a while, I think. Not even a partial crow. Usually they start trying to crow and it sounds terrible <laughs> until they get a full crow. Nothing at all from these guys so far. All right, day 105. He loves the water. Uh, <laughs> absolutely love scratch greens. No, no chickens over here. In the all ducks below. Yep, just the ducks. All 
right, day 106. I'm gonna give them some competition again. <laughs> Look at all these birds. Wow. There's a rooster. <laughs> these ducks dominate. Try to feed them something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Definitely tell the roosters. <laughs> All right, day one hundred and seven. Pretty good. Got one rooster right here. I'm assuming that's a rooster. <laughs> All the birds have been fed and watered. Look at that big old guy. <laughs> Alright, day 108. Got some stragglers. All right, day 109. <laughs> As they sprinkle lettuce right on top of the chickens. These roosters have been completely silent. No, even partial crowing. Beautiful feathers. All right, day 110. Man, look at all these birds. <laughs> Can you tell which one's which? I got a whole bunch of watermelon. That is way, way overripe. <laughs> Dive bombing on the watermelon. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Try not to hit a bird with a watermelon. <sighs> I do not like to eat overripe watermelon. It smells good, but it's just so mushy. Look at that. <laughs> the birds love it. They get all the leftover stuff we don't eat. In this case, they pretty much got the whole watermelon. That is day 110. <laughs> All right, day 111. 
I heard that roosters can actually start growing at 120, so maybe nine more days, maybe? These guys will start growing. Getting big. Makes me wonder at what age they start fighting. <laughs> I had the roosters last time. I had a whole bunch of them. They are vicious. You need to thin them out to just one rooster. I just need one this time. All right, day 112. It's a cooler, rainy day today. All right, day 113. I don't even know how many birds I have here. I haven't actually counted. <laughs> Oh, looks like we got a rooster way down here. So, it's a couple of roosters. All right, day 114. All these hungry birds. Hungry, hungry birds. And of course, here's the chickens right at the end. Rooster's not crowing yet. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my goodness. <laughs> No growing yet. All right, day 115. Came over here where it's a little bit quieter. <laughs> Not so crazy with all those other birds. Or this one here. <laughs> She's been in a molt for so long. Hard molt. Last year's chicken. All right, day 116. Look at all these crazy birds. For those roosters. Any day now. It's funny, even without lettuce, I can just take a little uh, plastic bag and they follow me around. <laughs> it's like their little leash. And let's see, I think that's a rooster right there. Whoa! <laughs> They're gonna eat the bag. 
crazy, crazy chickens. No crowing yet. Ah, they're gonna peck me. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's see if I can pick one up. See how tame they are. Pretty tame. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> oh. All right, day 118. <laughs> End up with all chickens. Distilled it down to chickens only. Getting pretty big. Pretty big. All right, day one hundred and nineteen. It is really windy today. Another rooster. <laughs> I think that's a rooster. No crowing. So according to Google, roosters should start growing about 120 days, and it's 120 days. No crowing yet. Which is nice, once they start crowing, this place is gonna get loud. This one's definitely a rooster over here. It's got a big comb on the head. <laughs> Lots of birds. I could just watch them all day. Day 121, so we're still getting a few random eggs here and there from the old chickens. It's funny, some of the old ducks are laying eggs in these boxes here, which is unusual. Got another duck egg here with a chicken egg, just two eggs today. <laughs> We've been getting anywhere from two to four eggs, I'd say. If you want to see Day 121 of these chickens. I just, just fed them. So we can find a rooster. They kind of hang out back here when I'm not feeding them and they're crazy. There's a rooster. There's a rooster. Oh, looks like we have maybe three roosters there. Looks like. <laughs> Herding chickens. The mountain sun. Not a peep from these guys. No crowing at all. All right, day 122, and yes, it snowed before the rooster crowed. <laughs> this is the first snow of the year. All right, well, babies. 
Uh, birds are getting wet. Let me bring some down here. I don't want that many birds all the way over here. Lots and lots of birds. Yeah, we get a lot of snow up here in the mountains. We're at 9,000 feet up here in the mountains of Colorado. There's a big old crow, uh, rooster. Hasn't crowed yet. You can definitely tell the rooster's not just by the body shape. And the bigger feet, <laughs> longer legs, bigger combs. So we're getting quite a bit of snow for our first snow. These cows are pretty covered. <laughs> Look at the big old bull. Here's the baby from last year, another bull. And then mama still hasn't had her calf. We're gonna have a winter calf this time. She is ready to blow. <laughs> find some late season watermelon. Not very good. Still kind of green. Raise the birds. Oh, we, got, uh, <laughs> we got a crow flying around. I'm always worried about the hawks. The hawks come down here, these birds freak out. I don't want to hit him with a watermelon. That could probably hurt. Alright. <laughs> new chickens. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, if one of them lays an egg, I might stop. <laughs> All right, day 124. <laughs> I got three of them that I lured over here. I don't come over here that much anymore. All right. One of them's a rooster. Oh, here comes some more. Get away from all those other birds. Those birds are crazy. You can definitely tell that one's a rooster. <laughs> Uh, right under his chin, he's got those <laughs> little flaps. It's pretty funny. Good looking birds. I absolutely love these black ostrilorps. More snow today, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at how brave the deer are coming right up to the ducks and chickens. <laughs> I don't think one's ever come up that close. Of course, this is the the best grass in the neighborhood right here, right around the ducks. Look at the, the water overflowing every day. Everyone's curious. Our day 125. <laughs> Look, I lured them all on this side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even walk. I can't even walk. <laughs> 
Ah. Whoa, I don't want to step on the bird. Don't want to step on the bird. Woo, I think I got them all, all over here. All right, I got a little bit over here. <laughs> all right. No chlorine roosters yet. And of course, I don't know. I barely have enough for a, for a snack for all these birds. That's all I have. Oh my goodness. Look at all these birds. Where's the rooster? Uh, the rooster's not crowing yet. <laughs> Over here. This is probably the biggest rooster right here. Good. At this rate, we'll be going till we're up to our waist in snow. That's a lot of birds. Wow. All right, day 126. All right, here we go. And let's see here. It's funny, this guy seems a lot smaller than some of the others, especially this rooster over here. <laughs> Looking good. Pretty cold today. Below freezing. No crowing. All right, day 127, and <laughs> look at this guy. And it's late in the day. As a matter of fact, the sun's almost ready to go down. Getting pretty late. See if we can find that rooster. <laughs> I think that's the rooster right there. Oh, uh, this is a this is a rooster for sure, I think. All right, day 128. Like one chicken who knows how to get out. <laughs> I think it could jump over the fence here. Uh, it's a warm day. T-shirt weather. And I also have some chopped up tomatoes, watermelon, lettuce, got a garden salad. <laughs> Look at these guys. I don't know what to think about those tomatoes. First time I ever gave them tomatoes. <laughs> the duck's like, what is that? Here's the rooster. Still no crowing. <laughs> All right, so day 129. So this is Never a good sign. My birds out here. What happened? What happened? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This happened once before when I had a fox get in there. What is going on? I took it out. Uh, I closed it. I closed it. So I actually put a little carabiner right here. <laughs> All right. We're after my, we're after my lettuce. What's going on? How did you guys get over here? Here they come. I can lure them in with a 
<laughs> the bag. I don't know how they got out. But, yeah. It's kind of concerning. Uh, I haven't really counted them to see if I have them all, but... I don't see any dead birds, which is good. What's going on? Did we get something in here? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see. So the reason I actually raised up some chickens is because I had a fox get in here. And the fox killed my roosters. And luckily I had some hatching eggs right at the end. So let me see if I can lure some over here. Come on, chickies. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go back over there. But it looks like, looks like we're okay. Like we didn't lose any birds. There's a rooster. No crowing yet. All right, so I looked all around. Looks like we're okay. I'm thinking maybe an owl came in. Alright. <laughs> Let's feed these guys. I have watermelon, tomatoes, lettuce. I should count all the birds. I used to count them every day to make sure we had them all in case uh, I lost some to a fox or something. Uh, usually a fox will kill multiple birds. Uh, a bear would totally wipe me out if a bear got in here. Usually a hawk, if a hawk gets in here, usually they just would kill one of them. Sometimes the hawks and the owls will just like sit on them. So they'll come out and they'll still be here. Always makes me <laughs> nervous with these birds. Up here in the mountains of Colorado with all this wildlife. But uh, looks like we got away pretty good this time. No casualties that I can see. So every time I have something like that happen where my chickens get out, possibly from something scaring them out and they can, they can actually jump over, but usually they don't jump out unless someone's something scaring them. What I like to do is I like to do a perimeter walk. Look at the bottom of the fence all the way around to make sure nothing's getting through. One time I actually had a, I think it was a bear that <laughs> separated the fence and came through right in the middle of the fence. I like to check my electrics. So my electrics getting really close here. I'm gonna have to short my electric fence. Have a couple strands of electrics. See like right here. Sometimes when the cows bump that electric over, it'll actually short out the electric fence and then the bears can get in. Uh, might need something right there, actually. It's just one of the things I do. Another thing I like to do, look around for dead birds. A lot of times they'll drag them out here in these cow patties. <laughs> it's hard to tell the difference between a dead bird and a cow patty sometimes, but it's kind of my routine after something like that. And then if I find a hole in the fence, I have to figure out how to how to patch it. All right, day 130. <laughs> Look at that big old bull. He's massive. All right, no problems today. No one after the chickens today. <laughs> They're fighting over that watermelon. Watermelon's almost out of season. It's a big rooster, no crowing yet. Yeah, 100 and... 
Chickens are rushing down here. Wow. <laughs> Got a little uh, aggressive chickens here. There's a big old rooster right there. I'll attract them with my empty bag. No crowing yet. All right, we have one chicken that got out on day 132. <laughs> I think that's one of the new chickens, which is pretty funny. All right, so today I have lettuce mixed in with some chopped up wheat bread. That's some old stale wheat bread. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of here. <laughs> Yeah, these, these chickens will get to the point where they can jump right over this fence. So I woke up this morning and I was working on the computer and I heard in the background a rooster crowing over and over and over. The first rooster crow. I wanted to catch it on camera. So 132 days. Until the rooster's crowing. <laughs> looks like a rooster too now. Definitely looks like a rooster. So I'll see if I can sneak in a little bit of video from the rooster crowing before we call it quits. I was actually, I've been actually putting this video together uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro and it looks like we were up to almost two hours. <laughs> I don't know if you're still watching this video after two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got the rooster crown. Day 132. Pretty awesome. All right, day 133. We have three chickens out here. And I think I know why these chickens are getting out. It's because these roosters are getting mean. <laughs> Starting to crow. And they're getting mean. They're chasing everyone around. <laughs> All right, so. Got some more lettuce, some tomato. These guys a little bit here. <laughs> oh, the whole flock eats it all. Oh! Haven't been able to catch her. One of those roosters crowing yet. As soon as I do, yeah, we'll call it good. <laughs> the problem with these chickens, uh, I got my stock tank over there with the, with the cows. And if they jump in, they could potentially drown. I've lost some in there before. I actually put a rubber tire in there floating around. Hopefully they can get up on that if they get in there. But doing pretty good. Look at how big this rooster is getting. I saw him yesterday. He's getting pretty mean chasing everyone around. <laughs> pretty mean. Uh, I think I have three roosters. Once they start fighting real bad, yeah, you definitely have to kind of pair them down to just one. But yeah, they're, when they start maturing, they are a terror, that's for sure.
134. Kind of late in the day. <laughs> Feed these chickens before the sun goes down. They were crowing this morning, I could hear them. But I didn't get one on camera. <laughs> I got a couple, couple tomatoes. <laughs> Looks like they picked up the tomatoes and they're fighting over them. Is that big old rooster? All right, day 135. We got one crazy chicken out. <laughs> And it's unseasonably warm. It's a really warm day. Wow, that rooster's getting big. Look at how big that rooster is. <laughs> the big boy. <laughs> Not as big as this guy. <laughs> Look at that big old guy. All right, day 136. <laughs> we saw this one chicken. I put him in every day and he gets out. I don't know how he's getting out. Right. <laughs> Got a big storm rolling in. It's getting windy, getting cold fast, even though the sun's out. All right. Almost to the end of this marathon video Mr. starting to crow I think it's his big rooster right here he's the most mature I can hear that rooster. <laughs> of course, every time I come out here, the rooster is not crowing. <laughs> The rooster is a shy crower. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at all the birds. <laughs> Seven. Uh, it is cold and windy. Really super cold. I think today is a high of 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Very cold.
heard that rooster crawling just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I can't seem to catch him up close in person. Well, he started crawling day 100 and 132, I think it was. Now they're getting frisky. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, technically, I was going to end it five days ago when they started. <laughs> when the roosters started crowing, getting one egg, anywhere from one egg to four eggs a day from these guys. It's kind of the off season. Uh, I'll probably get like a couple dozen eggs a day once uh, we hit the spring with all those ducks and chickens. And can't forget to give them. <laughs> this is what I mix with water. They absolutely go crazy. They're all waiting for it out here. I'm going to go out here in the wind, feed them their regular stuff here. <laughs> and they'll eat that, but they like it with water. There you have it. Five months of birds. It's kind of crazy. You guys tired of the, the birds and the chickens yet? I could work with these guys all day long. It's pretty fun. This keeps the mice out. All right. Here's the rooster. Couldn't see him crow in person, but we know he's crowing. <laughs> Very camera shy. I just dropped my camera. <laughs> uh, see if I can clean the lens. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the last five months. I uh, have to be honest, it's going to be weird not taking little videos every single day to kind of show you the update and the progress of my flock. It's been really fun. And this little cardboard thing is <laughs> kind of the new thing. That definitely keeps the crows out, which is pretty nice. I have a little latch up here. Close this up. Alright. 
five months. Pretty awesome growth. In the spring, we should have a ton of eggs with these new ducks and these new chickens. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. And I will see you in the next video.